everyone and welcome to Northeast Iowa. This is Karen and I wanted to share with you a little post Valentine's haul that I picked up. I got myself some glitter tool. I saw someone do a video using some tool and I want to try it out. So I got that for some fun. I'm working on a Valentine's Day journal. So I picked up this. I thought I'd make some fun ruffles or I'm not sure what else. I got some of these makeup blenders. Um, to use for stamping and then I picked up this paper pack mostly for the pink glitter but then it also had some pink paper back here that I thought would be great for um, working in the Valentine's journal plus there's some red here also I saw these cute little white flowers I thought those would be fun to create with um, happy Valentine's card I just liked the fonts and I thought that would be cute to have um, this, I love the flowers, so I thought that'd be fun to cut out and put make part of my journal. Um, this, it says be mine and has the hearts down the side. I thought I could make some pockets or a tuck. And then this card with the XOs, I thought I could repurpose that into maybe some sideways belly bands. And then I picked up uh, some heart stickers. Can't go wrong with those. And then I also picked up some pink things because I want to do a black and a pink journal. So these will go good with the Valentine's and then also in the pink and pur the pink journal I want to make. Sorry, I almost said purple because of my purple nails. And I had to move those for a sec. Hi, I'm back. Hopefully the camera will work and not move again. So then I also got a culmination of things from Hobby Lobby. So I picked up some heart stickers. I thought those were really pretty. I picked up some heart cutouts. I think that'd be fun to use. I got some heart um, trim. That will be fun. Like I, I picked up some confetti because I want to do a shaker cover. And then I also found that this set was all Valentine's. This was just in their regular section, and I really liked this set of shaker stuff. So I thought the two mixed together would be really nice. I found these um, felt heart stickers. I really liked those. Um, the love, it was vintage 80s to me, so of course I liked that. And then I picked up two of these bags. I just love the vintage Valentine look on them. So I have enough to make another cover next year. And I apologize for the noise. I'm going to stash all this in a bag. Just to make it easier for myself. for the crinkles there's that and there's that okay the ah, craft lanch picked up some gel pens because you can always use those in Valentine's colors and then I also picked up some pink um, tool because I thought that'd be fun to craft with so that's what I got for my Valentine's haul. And then, um, Carrie, the paper monkey, had showed some stuff uh, that she had found that was on sale. So I went looking for some of that. So I found this needle card, and I got two of this needle card. I want to do some sewing journals, so those will be fun to have in that. I picked up a, a keychain. I like to put these on my backpack to show that at work so people know that I'm crafty. I picked up a few charms. Um, I just thought those would be fun to put on journals. I got two of this sewing charm because like I said I want to make a sewing journal. Uh, I got this. It's a unicorn. Uh, my granddaughter loves unicorns so I'll make something fun for her. Here's that other sewing charm. 
And then I picked up this tin with a magnet. It helps me keep track of my needles as I'm crafting. Because I tend to almost lose them and I don't like that with the puppies. And then I picked this up because I love the vintage brooches. So it reminds me very much of something my mom would have worn. And then I got some fabric or sewing related washi tape. I thought that was really cute and I love the little spool that it's on. Here's a few more Valentine's things that I missed. Here's some puffy hearts, more in the bright red color, so that'll be nice. And then the rainbow hearts, that'll be good in my 80s journal. And then I picked up a charcuterie board. Uh, if I don't use it for cooking, I will use it to put a cross stitch something on. So. For the price that it was, I thought it was a good deal. And then lastly, I found Always Be Sewing. It's a journal. I just thought it'd be fun to keep track of my sewing stuff, even though I could make my own. Sometimes you gotta buy the ones that they have. Alright, well that's it for my haul for this, this week. And I hope you come back and watch again. Thanks! Bye!